So, uh, welcome to a new episode. This is episode 10, last episode we made the triangle up here on the screen. Um, before we do any ad additional shader work or, or graphics work, I would like to do some organize organization stuff. Um, so, yeah, let, let's begin. Uh, so, first off, create a new CVP file, it'll end up the H file, and name it vector3. In a boot vector tree. Okay. So, um, in vector tree dot h. So, yeah. So in vector tree dot h, simply create a new structure and do time def. Time def. Not a bad day. Time def struct. Struct. And name it vector three, and it will consist of three things, of course. So a vector three is basically a vector with three components, and make sure to include our GLW GLF three dot h, and then three, the three components will be GL, uh, three floats named x. Y and Z and Z, yes, and uh, yeah, that's it for this one. We will in the future add some uh, some functions that uh, make using our structure easier. So, for example, to uh, some functions to do subtraction, multiplication, and adding, or even uh, to make a a vector tree. Okay, let's move on. Um, now create a new header file. So next header file and name this vertex data. Now um, this file will host all of our uh, all of our structures which we'll use for um, to store our vertex attributes. So simply name this vertex data. And with B now, we'll have multiple versions um, for this. Uh, for example, we can have a version that, that only stores position, like this one, so the B. Or we can have a, a version that stores the position and the normals, so, th so that would be BN, for example. Or colors, so BC. Uh, make sure to include our vector tree. So include vector. Sorry, include vector. Yes, that is vector three. It's a bad day. Vector three. No ditch. Yes, okay. And then simply create a uh, inside. So here you'll have one vector three. And you can name this position position coordinates. Okay. Um then now um let's see what can we do yes let's create our resource manager class so create a new class and this will be again a single thing class and name this one resource manager and click on create So resource manager, and um, this class will basically be so whenever we need a shader or a vertex buffer or a texture or whatever, we will uh, create an instance. Well, no, we will get the instance of this class, and we will get it. And yeah, so this class is basically responsible for loading all of our vertex buffers and shaders and whatnot. Uh, let's spell this resource manager. And then, so also include a couple of things for now. So first off, include include the vector, which is basically a container, like I said in the best video. Then also include um, include the shader interface of H. 
and also include our vertex buffer dot h. Um, okay. Then let's create. Um, let's create our vector. So std. Right. So in the private section, of course, so private. So std uh, vector. And so before the shader, for the shader interface, so shader interface pointer pointer uh, to the shader array. Okay, then another STD vector. Um, vertex buffer pointer. And you can in this vertex buffer array. And then also this is a singleton, so our constructor and destructor are both private. And our destructor. Then our public functions will be quite simple. You'll only have a couple, so the first one will be std std vector shader interface um, pointer get shader array and our second one will be same only for the vertex buffer. Uh, so simply change this to vertex buffer and get vertex buffer array. Array. Um, then our two static methods. So static, uh, static resource manager add sign get resource manager and static void let's destroy resource manager okay be sure to give these an underscore, by the way. It's not necessary, but I like the uh, I like to have an underscore for uh, for class variables. So here I typed out all of the methods you need to. We just created in a header file. You should know how to do this. I won't explain it. Uh, do make sure to to have all of the add signs in the uh, in the static constructors. Um, yeah, um, one last thing before we end this video is let's simply create our shader array. So do, uh, do shader array equals new, uh, new std vector, uh, shader, sh oh God. I'm very trying, guys, sorry. Shader interface, um, yeah, that's it. And also vertex buffer array equals new. Uh, std vector and vertex buffer pointer um, okay and then in the destructor let, uh, let's simply delete these so delete shader shader array and also delete vertex buffer array and um, Okay, at this point, this class this doesn't uh, actually do anything, but let's already create it. So go to your game manager. And uh, include it in the header file. So include, include uh, resource manager.h. And then 
Um, and I can then also create a storage space for it, so you get private um, resource manager. Um, resource, resource, sorry, manager. Oh, we don't the so without the parentheses. Um, then in your get the game manager. Um, so here's a good spot. I'd say, yeah, or actually, no, let's do that in the constructor. Yeah, so constructors, so we simply do it. Huh. Yeah, do it, yeah, do it in the constructor. That's no problem. So, resource manager and um, arguments, no arguments. Yeah, so, resource manager and that will equal resource manager get resource manager and don't forget the add sign. Voila, so now we create it and then we have to destroy it. So in your destructor simply do and do it before we destroy the render system so resource manager it's actually logical or yes well yeah for now it doesn't really matter so simply do resource manager and um, destroy resource manager okay and if you run this there should be no errors and everything works our code at the moment doesn't really do anything and if it does it everything still works fine so I'm sorry this is such a short video, um, but I'll try to make them more consistent. I'll I'll try to make one every day from now on. There may be there may be not too long, but yeah. Okay, so next video we'll uh, again do some organization stuff, and then we should move on to more shading stuff. And the, yeah, and do other stuff like camera and movement and, and whatever. So yeah, see you next time. Bye.